Hi friends, myself, C. Sinduja, Assistant Professor in Mathematics, KSR CAS. Today we will discuss the topic related to self-adjoint unitary and normal operators in functional analysis. Already all of you know that what is an Hilbert space? Hilbert space means it is a complete inner product space is said to be an Hilbert space. First we define the operator. Operator means a linear operator T stands from Hilbert space to Hilbert space. Then T is said to be an operator. Just we see the definition as if T is a continuous linear transformation from a Hilbert space H into H then T is said to be an operator on H. Suppose T defined one space domain as a Hilbert space and co-domain as a Banach space then T is said to be a transformation. So domain and co-domain same space representation is said to be an T is said to be an operator. Next we see that as the same form as a linear transformation in terms of the linear operator. So linear operator the condition only one condition is we have to prove that T of alpha x plus beta y is equivalent to alpha into T of x plus beta into T of y. Here alpha and beta are the scalars and x and y are the vectors in the Hilbert space. Next we see the adjoint of an operator. Adjoint of an operator means in a product of Tx, y it is equivalent to x, t star of y. It is said to be an adjoint of an operator. Next we will discuss self-adjoint operator. Self-adjoint operator means T is equivalent to T star condition only satisfied. It can be expressed in the inner product space as X, T of Y is equivalent to T star of X, Y. It can be replaced as T X, Y in a product of T X, Y. It is a relevant example next we see that. Consider the linear operator T from uh, c cube to c power 3 defined by t of z1, z2, z3 is equivalent to inner product of z1 plus i z2, comma i z1 minus 2 z2 plus i z3, comma minus i z2 plus z3. In this uh, function, t is a self adjoint or not. So now we go to check that t is a self adjoint or not. So solution part. Here can be expressed in the matrix form. The operator can be expressed in the matrix form. First column represent z1 value. Second column represent z2 value. Third column represent z3 value. Next we consider transpose of the matrix T. So here row and column values can be interchanged. So first row can be replaced in the first column. Second row can be replaced in the second column third row can be replaced in the third column. So again t star of z1, z2, z3 can be expressed in the inner product form as z1 plus i z2, i z1 minus 2 z2 minus i z3, i z2 plus z3. So right hand side value is not equivalent to t of z1, z2, z3. So the given t is not an nor self adjoint operators. Next we see that the positive operator. Positive operator means inner product value is greater than or equivalent to 0. Here inner product can be defined in the form as Tx, Y. It is greater than or equivalent to 0. X and Y or belong to the Hilbert space. Next we see the uh, related uh, self-adjoint operator related theorem. Next we will discuss. Here given condition is T1, T2 are the self-adjoint operators and we have to prove that T1, T2 is a self-adjoint and F1 only if T1, T2 is equivalent to T2, T1. So in this part, in this theorem, we go to prove that two cases. First one is a necessary part. First we have to assume that T1, T2 is a self-adjoint. So T1, T2 is a self-adjoint means what condition is satisfied? T1, T2 
self adjoint operator relevant theorem we will go to discuss here given condition as t1 t2 are the self adjoint operators and also t1 t2 is a self adjoint if and only if t1 t2 is equivalent to t2 t1 condition is satisfied in this proof we go to two cases case 1 first we have to assume that t1 t2 is a self adjoint operators and we go to prove that t1 t2 is equivalent to t2 t1 second case we have to assume that t1 t2 is equivalent to t2 t1 and we go to prove that t1 t2 or the self adjoint operators see that proof given condition as t1 t2 or the self adjoint operators by using our definition portion t1 star is equivalent to t1 t2 star is equivalent to t2 mark it as equation 1 so here we assume that t1 t2 is a self adjoint product is self adjoint first we have to assume that by using again your definition portion t1 t2 the whole star is equivalent to t1 t2 so you are left hand side ab the whole star can be replaced as b star into a star so using in this condition the left hand side can be replaced as t2 star into t1 star equal to t1 t2 so again by using equation 1 condition left hand side t2 star can be replaced as t2 and t1 star can be replaced as t1 so right hand side as it is t1 t2 so your first case is over first case you have to assume that t1 t2 be a self adjoint and we have to prove that t1 t2 is equivalent to t2 t1 next uh, second case conversely we have to assume that t1 t2 is equivalent to t2 t1 mark it as equation 2 here it is a product is a self adjoint so consider t1 t2 the whole star is equivalent to again by using ab the whole star is equivalent to b star a star condition so right hand side can be replaced as t2 star into t1 star again by using equation 1 condition t2 star can be replaced as t2 and t1 star can be replaced as t1 so by using equation 2 right hand side value getting t1 t2 so therefore t1 t2 the whole star is equivalent to t1 t2 here t1 t2 is a self adjoint operators so next we will go to normal operators normal operators the condition is true only n n star is equivalent to n star n that is commutes with the adjoint of an operator that is n n star is equivalent to n star n so note first condition as every self adjoint operator is a normal operator we know that self adjoint operator what is the condition t is equivalent to t star so mark it as an equation 1 uh, both side we have to multiply it by t so we get t into t is equivalent to t t star left hand side t into t getting uh, t square right hand side as a t t star so again by using self adjoint operator replace t as a t star so left hand side can be replaced as t star t is equivalent to t t star so every self adjoint operator is a normal operator similarly for every unitary operator is also a normal operator and also zero and identity operator is also a normal operator next we will see some example about in normal operators so let t from domain as r power 2 and co domain as in r power 2 so defined as in standard basis e1 comma e2 1 comma 0 comma 0 comma 1 is a basis of r power 2 define a tra transform a t from first row values a b and c d in matrix notation so here we check that the given operator is a normal or not so here first we have to define t of e1 is equivalent to as a linear combination expansion as t of e1 is equivalent to a e1 plus c e2 second one t t of e2 is equivalent to b e1 plus d e2 so next uh, normal condition we go to prove that t t star is equivalent to t star t so we consider that t t star equal to t can be substitute a b c d 2 by 2 matrix and t star can be row and column getting interchange so first row value getting 
column first column and second row value replaced as a second column so t t star value as usual matrix multiplication we get a squared plus b squared a c plus b d a c plus b d c squared plus d squared mark it as equation 1 next we go to consider t star t so again substitution t star value as a c b d and t value is a b c d as usual normal matrix multiplication we get the equation 2 so comparing equations 1 and 2 we get t t star and t star t values are not same therefore the given operator is not an normal operator suppose t is a normal operator what a condition is true here b is equivalent to c or b equivalent to minus c and a equal to b the given operator getting is a normal operator this is an example of normal operator when it is uh, when it is uh, true or not next we go to see that unitary operator unitary operator means normal operator condition is also sat satisfied and it is equivalent to identity operator t t star is equivalent to t star t is equivalent to i next a uh, note condition every unitary operator is a normal operator so some theorem relevant to the normal operators here given condition is t1 t2 or the normal operators with the property that each commutes with a joint of the other then t1 plus t2 and t1 t2 or normal operators so here this theorem uh, given condition as t1 t2 or the normal operators normal operators means the condition is t t1 t1 star is equivalent to t1 star t1 mark it as equation 1 t2 is also a normal operator so t2 into t2 star is equivalent to t2 star into t2 mark it as equation 2 so another given condition is commutes with a joint of the other each commutes with a joint of the other so a third equation can be written as t1 star into t2 is equivalent to t2 into t1 star so mark it as equation 3 again fourth equation can be written as t1 t2 star is equivalent to t2 star into t1 so next we go to prove that t1 plus t2 is a normal operator so what we have to prove that t1 plus t2 into t1 plus t2 the whole star equal to t1 plus t2 the whole star into t1 plus t2 so consider the left hand side t1 plus t2 into t1 plus t2 the whole star equal to the bracket portion second bracket can be interchanged as t1 star plus t2 star so as usual bracket uh, bracket can be removed so first term to first term so t1 into t1 star plus t1 into t2 star plus t2 into t1 star plus t2 into t2 star uh, next we go to substitution equation 1 2 3 and 4 we get the third step t1 star into t1 plus t2 star into t1 plus t1 star into t2 plus t2 star into t2 next one uh, first two terms the common term is t1 getting outside so t1 plus t1 star plus t2 star in the bracket portion into t1 third and fourth term t2 is a common term so getting outside t1 star plus t2 star into t2 so again t1 star plus t2 star is a common term so we get t1 star plus t2 star into t1 plus t2 so another uh, next step t1 star plus t2 star can be replaced as t1 plus t2 the whole star into t1 plus t2 therefore t1 plus t2 is a normal condition is satisfied next we go to prove that product is also a normal condition is true so just we have to consider left hand side as t1 t2 into t1 t2 the whole star it is equivalent to first bracket portion as it is t1 t2 second bracket portion can be replaced as a b the whole star condition is b star into a star so second bracket portion can be written as t2 star into t1 star 
So here associative condition is satisfied. So bracket ca bracket can be interchanged. So first uh, T1 position into bracket portion T2 into T2 star into T1 star. Again by using uh, equation 2 condition. So second condition is T1 into bracket portion T2 star into T2 into T1 star. Again bracket can be interchanged. Finally we get T1 T2 the whole star into T1 T2. Therefore T1 T2 is also a normal operator. So given condition is T1 T2 or the uh, normal operators we go to prove that T1 plus T2 is a normal operator and also product is also a normal operator. Thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. Next we will see uh, some uh, CSIR net questions in this relevant topics. Thank you once again.